to another Roblox video. Today, I am going to be showing you how you can make a morph in Roblox video, so let's do it. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is insert a part into your game. So there you go, here's a part. Let me go ahead and move it into the middle. Actually, yeah. Let's move it into the middle. Alright, right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and go back into it. And now I'm going to go ahead and change this to whatever color you want. I'm going to set mine to red. And I'm going to make it into a square. So this is going to be like the little button uh, that you step on that transforms you into the morph. So what you're going to want to do now is go ahead and go to toolbox. Now that's going to open up your models. What you're going to want to do is click on this models and click plugins. And then it's should pop up right here load character plugin if you didn't already have it it'll be in the link in the description below so now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is open up that plugin so go into the plugins tab click load character and i'm going to go ahead and use already pros profile for the sake of this video you can use any one you want but make sure you click spawn r15 it's really important and then once you've done that you're going to want to go ahead and put it behind the little uh button so let's go ahead and select this and let's put it right here okay so now that we've done that we're gonna want to go ahead and select already pro we're gonna click this little arrow right here and we're gonna go ahead and select all of this all of his parts with his body and then you're gonna want to make sure you have the properties tab open if you don't already have it open you're gonna want to click view and then properties just like that that's how you open it up Go back to home, and now you're going to want to search anchored, okay, or you can just do AN, and right under behavior, you're going to see anchored. You're going to make sure that it is unselected, so there should just be an empty box if it is unselected. So now that we have done that, you, you can go ahead and close this. You're going to want to select already pro and part. You can do that by holding citral while selecting them, and then you're going to want to go ahead and right click and do group. So now that makes them into one big model all together. So now what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is open up the model and go to the part and insert a script into the part. So here's the script. It'll be in the link in the description below if you'd like to use it. Now, this is really important. I had some people on my last video not pay attention to this part and it did not work for them. So what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is right here where it says character model name, you're gonna wanna delete this and go to your uh, thing. You can name whatever you want. You can you just go to your go to your little uh, thing that you're gonna morph into. Go ahead and select that. Now copy that name. Copy that name and go into the parentheses again and paste it right there. So already pro, just like that. That is how you do it. So now we can go ahead and close this off. Now one more thing before we exit, it does not have an animation yet, and I'm going to fix that in a second, so you're going to want to go ahead and click play, and I'm going to show you guys how you can make an animation work with it. Alright guys, so I just loaded it into the game, and as you can see, I'm walking around with my nice avatar, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is, as you can see, if I step on this, it does, the guy does actually not have an animation. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into my Lincoln Blocks YT and uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and replay the game real quick so you're gonna want to go ahead and do play again and basically what we're doing is we're gonna take the animation script from our character and we're gonna paste it into the character or morph that we're morphing into if that makes sense so here we are loaded into the game and what we're going to go ahead and do is go to workspace, click on your player, and you're going to see this animate script right here. Now you're going to want to go ahead and copy that, click stop, and then go into your RD Pro and paste that animate script in, just like that. So now if we go ahead and play the game, it should have us animating because we copied the animation script from ourselves. So. Now we would have any animation that we selected, so it's going to use our animation basically um, that we have on our profile. So now if I go ahead and come over here and step on it, 
as you can see, we have an animation just like this. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you really did enjoy. If you did, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!